Hey, Josh here from RVs of America, and we're in the beautiful outdoors in Utah. You can see here, uh, we've just brought the, the Mantis up here, and we're just enjoying this beautiful scenery. But uh, we've got some wind as well, but... Um, Today, we're, our, our goal is to go through the new Taxa Mantis. This is a 2021 model, and uh, we're gonna do an in-depth walkthrough today. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start on the outside and we'll, we'll work our way in. All right, so one of my absolute favorite features about the Taxa Mantis is the, um, is the actual back door. Um, it opens up and it changes um, really the whole experience that you can have with a trailer. So even though you're going to be um, you know, primarily camping inside of this, uh, opening, opening this up allows you really to take in all of the outdoors. And if you can see uh, you know, where we are, uh, we just came up here to do a, a quick uh, run through on this trailer, but if we were camping here, we might want to turn the trailer so that when we're sitting down to eat or we're laying down, we can look out and that our uh, view is right over this valley right here. And that's one of the huge benefits of this, of this back door is it allows us to take that all in and take the outside and bring it in. And it allows us to, even though we're in a trailer, we can still feel we're out in nature. So I really love that feature about uh, the backside of the of the taxa here. Um, one thing that's cool is they try and utilize every single part of the taxa trailers. Uh, so this, these are steps here that allow you to go up and get access to the Thule load bars. And that's actually an, an upgrade that you can get with these. They don't come with the Thule load bars, but we've ordered that on, on ours. But um, this rack right here actually does fit a jerry can. So if you'd like to put a jerry can right here, you can use bungees or rope to tie it in there. Uh, that's just another feature that they try and use to make sure that you're maximizing the utility of this of this trailer here. So let's go ahead and go around to the front and we can um, start looking at stuff on the inside. One thing I really love about this trailer is how sturdy it is. This door is uh, super sturdy and I also really love the mechanism back here for keeping your door shut it's got a it's got kind of a cork effect where it goes in there and it just stays and you can you can tug on this and it's not going to go anywhere but it's uh it's a really nice feature that keeps your door open for you okay so these windows here these are polycarbonate they are about 200 times stronger than glass. The impact rating is, uh, like I said, about 200 times greater. So these, what's great about that is it's gonna allow you to be able to, when you're going off-road, or if you have a kid that throws something at the window, uh, they're just not gonna break as easily. They're gonna be, be able to handle a lot more. Uh, they've also got a, a tint to them, which makes it harder on the outside to be able to look in, but on the inside, you're still able to look out really easily. I really like that feature I took uh, this trailer out for about a week and uh, that made it really nice uh, just having that tinting it just you didn't you didn't have to feel like con people were constantly looking at you while you were inside the trailer so you, you feel like you have a lot of privacy that way these windows are also dual pane which is going to help you a lot with your insulation it's going to help to be able to keep the um, hot uh, in in the winter time or the cool in when you're using the AC so that's another great feature about these uh, polycarbonate windows. So the the structure of the Mantis is an aluminum composite that has an, a high density foam, an EPS foam inside, and that's what goes around the entire uh, Mantis. And then on the inside, it's a laser cut uh, steel frame on the inside, which we'll show you when we go inside. Uh, but they've actually continued and they have this steel fender here, which is really nice, uh, which allows you to uh, um, if you guys ever uh, have, a, have a flat tire or your tire busts, um, it's not going to destroy the outside of this. Or if something, a rock or, or something comes up, you're not going to destroy this. It's a really, really thick, uh, strong steel for your fender. 
All right, so the tires that they've got here on the Mantis, uh, they're a 235.75 uh, with a 15-inch rim. Uh, these, uh, they come with a 10-inch a, a electric drum brake that uh, comes with on each of the tires, and it's got an aluminum wheel. So that's uh, that's the tire that comes with the Mantis. This is your multi-purpose tool here. You're gonna be using this for the stabilizing jacks and also for your tire if you need it. Coming over here, there's a little lip right here, a little inlet that you can use and you simply fit it right in there and you're able to just put this stabilizer down. Now we might be at an angle and sometimes actually adjust that foot part, but you'll be able to use this on all four sides of your trailer and it helps a lot. I know when we, uh, when you go inside of the trailer and you don't have the stabilizer down, it's gonna wobble, but at nighttime, once you have those stabilizers down, it's a really, really solid unit. And you guys can be moving around, going from side to side. Your kids can be swinging in a hammock, whatever. And the unit stays uh, really solid. So these stabilizers are gonna be really important when you guys are setting up. And then back here is the tire. And they've actually got a hole right here that you can stick this in to access the pin that allows you to lower the tire. We just went through a really, really dusty area bringing this up. And what you can actually see is this line here all along the outside. It does a really good job. This door prevents, uh, looks really all of the dust from at least driving off road from getting into your unit. All the dust that we've gotten into the unit is just from us walking outside and walking in. But uh, going off road and, and getting a lot of dirt, none of it's gonna go on the inside. They have a great seal on the door. Okay, so now we're on the driver's side of the Mantis. This is where all of your hookups are for the unit. So starting from the left, this is actually your cassette toilet. Honestly, at first we were really skeptical about what it would be like to use a cassette. And after we used this cassette, we found that it actually saved us a lot of time from having to go to a place that has a specific dump site. What we did is we actually took this cassette and we were able to go to a, a bathroom in the local park that we were in. It was a camping. It's like a national parks have them all over. It's the outdoor toilets that you can get access to. And we were able to just take this and go and dump and then go right back to where we were camping and not have to travel into town. It was a super, super easy and functional design that allows you to not have to worry about a black tank. So a couple of things with the cassette toilet. In order for the toilet to flush, this is actually where you fill it up with water. I actually struggled to get the water in there uh, until you understand that it's like a P-trap and you have to fill the water when you're filling this up. You can see here, on the inside, you have to fill the water above this in order for the water to actually push and fill up your flushing tank. And you can see, you'll know that you're filling it up because you'll be able to see water in here. And that's when you know that you're actually getting water into the tank that allows you to flush. It's not connected to the general water. It's a separate holding tank for the water that you'll use to, to flush your toilet. So moving on through, uh, this is the exhaust for the Truma furnace and water heater. This is your city connect for water. When you don't want to worry about filling up the tank, you can just use your city connect right there. This is your 30 amp connection right here. Inside, we already showed you it comes with a pigtail that goes 30 to 110. If you want to have a 30 to 30, that's not included with the unit, so you'll want to get something like that. This is your Solar Connect, which I would highly recommend. The Mantis is actually extremely efficient with its battery use. We were able to go with one battery for an entire week, and I think we had to use the generator once or twice. And if we had solar, I imagine that we could have gone forever 
never having to use a generator to charge our batteries. So getting a solar panel for the Mantis is something I would highly recommend, but you gotta make sure that when you get your solar panel that it's got the AC2 inlet. That's how you're gonna be able to um, plug in here on the Mantis. And this, this here is your uh, water fill for your fresh water tank. Uh, this, is, this is where you, you'll be able to get your access point here. Then there's two other features I wanna point out. This is your gray release here, this lever here. This is how you let the gray out of your tank. But the water that has not been used, I will actually show you. If you look under here, this is your uh, general water tank. And you can see that there's a spigot there that you can turn the water on and off to be able to let it out if you want. But it's also got a connection for your hose. So if you don't wanna drop all the water here, you can hook it up to a hose and draw it away from your campsite. It's actually the same over on the gray water release over here. You'll be able to hook up a hose if they don't want you dropping any of the gray water in your site and they want you to, to put it somewhere else you can hook it up to a hose to get it away from your campsite moving to the front of the mantis there's a few features i want to review it's all dirty because we've been taking it off roading here but uh, this is actually your propane access here it comes with two 20 pound tanks there is a a valve here that allows you to select which tank you're going to use in the back uh, so you'll just turn that to change the supply so right now the supply is selected for uh, this unit and when that's empty you just switch it and then we can start using the propane over here there we go all right so one of the unique features about the Taxa trailer is that it actually comes with a, a wireless auto brake. It's a trailer brake so that you don't have to have a trailer brake installed in your rig. If you don't have a trailer brake, you can actually take advantage of the brakes that come with the Taxa Mantis without having it installed in your truck. It comes with a wireless remote that's going to allow you to adjust the gain on the trailer brake uh, while you're connected to your truck. So that's a really nice feature. Again, this is going to allow you to uh, utilize the brakes on the trailer without having a trailer brake installed on your tow vehicle. Each of the Mantis units come with a, an awning, an ARB eight foot awning. And we wanna go ahead and show you how to set that up and what it looks like set up. Just at the top, you've got Velcro here, and this is how you're gonna release the awning. And then we just roll it out. These are your legs. So once you've got the, the awning pulled all the way out and you have both of your stabilizer bars uh, set up, one of the keys with the stabilizer bars is that in order to lock them in place, these, this will move up and down really easily. To lock it in place, you actually have to turn this bottom part here. That's how it locks in. So once you have both sides locked in and these are all tight, what you do is you actually come here and you grab these stabilizers. So there's two sets of stabilizers over here. What you do is you take this out and it's a similar design as these front legs. You pull this out and there's a hole right here that you're gonna stick the front into. And then you're gonna push. You're gonna take this and you're gonna push this direction. And once you've got this roof, once this canvas is taut, then you can go ahead and tighten this by turning this pole. You turn this pole and that's what's gonna lock it in place. Then once you have both of your poles set up, you can just use this Velcro here to get it all buttoned up and tight. All right. Now you can get a good idea of what that 
awning looks like. It's eight feet, it's eight feet long. So you've got a good size awning here for if you guys are, if you guys have got a lot of sun or if you've got rain and you're trying to stay out of it. Now, one of the other cool features about this ARB awning is that it comes with lights. In the front, you can see that you actually have a 12 volt connection. This can be used for anything you want to, I mean, if you want to charge your phone, you know, you can use anything 12 volt. You want to set up your fridge out here, that's fine. But for us, what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn these LED lights on that come with the awning. And it's got a couple of cool features. So we just plug in our 12 volt here. If you want to make it out of the way, you can wrap it through here and do some stuff so that it's, I don't know, more invisible. But the connection is right here. We just got to pop this in here. There we go. Okay, we've got our battery on. This is our switch here. There we go. Okay, and there's a couple of fun settings. This obviously is brighter at night, but on the uh, switch that you've got here, uh, you can actually increase the brightness and decrease it. So you can see we're able to take this up and down depending on how much light and the kind of light if you want. You want white or orange, you have access to both. So kind of a nice feature that comes with the awning. Going inside, I want to show you guys how we lift it up. Actually, I'll go ahead and pull out this step. Uh, it's, it's actually really easy. It's just you lift it up, pull it out, and it drops right down. Uh, it's super easy set up there. So um, in on the inside, you've got uh, these clips right here and right here. These are what's holding the top of the Mantis down uh, to, uh, you know, obviously while you're traveling. And so we want to disconnect that so that we can go ahead and pop this up. This, uh, <coughs> there's two buttons. Uh, this one right here, this is what kind of locks it in place. So once you uh, push this button here, you can be able to pull it up and you'll just want to unhook this latch here. We'll come do that on the other side. And then it's really simple from there. We just push up. They have gas struts on each side that make this go up really, really easily. Anybody should be able to push that up on their own. All right, I wanna point out um, that the frame on the inside is a black steel. It's, it's very, very sturdy. It's a very strong, it's a stout build. Uh, just coming in and walking in and feeling it, you can get a sense of um, how well these things were built. You're never wondering if, um, you know, this thing is going to fall apart. It's, it's a very, very sturdy construction. All of the wood throughout the Mantis is a Baltic birch, which is a really strong, hard wood. And then a lot of your counter space they have a, a laminate that's going to go over the top that's going to help to extend the life of the wood and that's going to be again in all of the spaces where you're going to be using the wood and placing things on top they all have this really nice laminate over the top. Um, one of the features that I used a lot when I took this out was this couch slash bunk bed system. It's really nice because you have that flexibility. If you don't need to use a bunk bed, it is nice to be able to have this extra storage here or this space here for just sitting down and relaxing. If you guys had a laptop or something and you wanted to watch a show or just sit here and talk with the family, it's just a really nice feature and it's really comfortable. But if you want to use it as a bunk bed like we did, I can show you how that is set up. So it's really simple. The bunk bed just has these uh, latches here and we just come up here, put them up on each side. And then they also have this safety net, which for my daughter is really important because she moves a lot. So you can come up here and Actually, you got to push it up a little bit in order for that to 
get up there. But yeah, that's set up to help your kid when they're up on the top bunk to be able to stay up there. One thing also that is a user tip, when you are having kids uh, sleeping on the bunks, it's actually best if you either are level or if you're worried about your kids moving a lot, you can even put the front down a little bit so that they at night are going towards the front of the trailer. Because if you have the back of the trailer further down, they're going to slide off of the bunks. Just something to be aware of that, you know, either be level or slightly pointed down at the tip so that your kids while they're sleeping are sliding towards the front where they can't fall off. So it's and I say that because I think both of our kids fell off in the middle of the night. So we had to figure that one out uh, trial by error. So this is one of the upgrades that we ordered. This is the toilet and shower combo. In order to get this set up, uh, you just take this here. This piece right here locks it up. It comes with this liner here that just has buttons that you can clip in here. And we're just gonna throw this up. I'll get everything buttoned up and then we can put this up and show you guys what it looks like. So on the shower, there are these carabiners. What you do is you just simply take the carabiners and hook them up up here. And I, I don't, I'm not gonna worry about getting the ones in the back, but um, this is basically how your shower slash bathroom gets set up and you're able to come in here and this all is Velcros, but you're able to come in there and, and take a shower or use the bathroom when needed. And it's just a super simple setup. And uh, like I said, the nice thing about having this material here and not a built-in shower is that we can take this down whenever we don't need it and use this for counter space whenever we want. So it's it's uh, got a lot of mobility there allowing you to, to utilize it however you want, whether you wanna leave it up in, in the shower slash bathroom mode all the time, or if you wanna have the counter space for, for whatever, um, it works great that way. So one of the nice features in the 2021 is they actually separated the sink from the stove. They used to be combined, and now the sink and the stove are actually uh, separate. Uh, this two burner Dometic stove there. It burns really well. We didn't have any problem cooking with it when we took it out camping. This is the Truma system that they have for both your water heater and for the furnace. We were able to run this. It runs really hot. Um, I was able to get the water heated up super fast and I was able to take a shower with it. Never ran out of hot water. Uh, when we were running the heat and we, we turned it up just to see how hot, I mean, we got it up to 80 and it was really hot. So this water heater and furnace operate really really well this is your battery to turn it off and on if you're plugged into shore power obviously you don't need to to have that on but the unit will come with lots of switches you can see uh, this is for the water pump that turns on your water pump this is going to be the light that goes over your kitchen area here you can see that uh, turn on and off and this is I think another cabin light Yep, it's the one in the back. There's some more switches over here. And these are these are also just more light switches. Inside and outside of the trailer, the light switches are all controlled here. So these are the, the fuses here that they'll have for each of their switches. Um, and this right here is actually for your refrigerator, which it doesn't come with a refrigerator. I'll show you that in a little bit. But if your refrigerator that goes right over here, if it is not operating, this is the fuse for the refrigerator. So what you do to, to take the fuse out, you got to push, turn, and the fuse will come uh, right out for you. One of the things that's nice about the trailer is it does come with a few different USB plugins, which is really nice. 
They've got one here, and they also have one over here that you can utilize. And then they have 12 volt plugins throughout the entire unit. This right here is an upgrade that we ordered on this Mantis. We got the bunk system here. I've got a, a hammock I'll show you guys later, but it starts out as a couch. You can, for travel, this is a good scenario to, to leave it as a couch. There's a lot of storage area underneath that you can utilize. And they've also specifically made the height such that you can fit all of your baskets under there as well. So these are the storage baskets baskets that they use for the taxas and they're all designed to fit right under here just in case you want to get some more or if you want to design your storage differently this is the spot for your refrigerator and the 12 volt plug-in is actually on the floor right down here in the corner so when you guys pick up your Truma fridge or your Dometic fridge or whatever fridge it is that, that you guys are wanting to use in your unit, that's where you'll plug it in. It's gonna be 12 volt. One thing that's important to remember when you guys are setting up your fridge right here is you are going to want to strap it down, especially when you're driving and you're hitting the washboard roads, it will come off. So find some good straps that you can use to hold this down, otherwise it will Will fall off. A couple of things that we thought were really nice about this was actually the trash. I feel like that's something I just don't feel like is normal that it just comes with a normal trailer. It's actually a really good sized trash. We were able to utilize it and a lot of people, uh, neighbors that were camping next to us were all able to benefit from having a, a really good sized trash can that we were able to either keep it in here or take it out when we were, you know, cooking for dinner or doing s'more or whatever and we were able to just throw a bag in there and and uh, you know you always accumulate trash when you're out camping these are milk cartons what's really great about these is not only are they lightweight but it's the portability when we first got into the mantis we were questioning how much we would like the milk carton system that they use in the Mantis or in the tax in general. And we were a little skeptical until we actually camped in it. And we found out that we actually really, really love it. So what's really nice about it is that we were able to take these out and bring them all inside and pack up the entire trailer inside. We didn't have to bring everything to the trailer. We were able to take these inside, pack it up inside our house, and then just individually bring them out and put them up where they go. So once you have these out, you're able to put it right back in, goes in super smooth. Now what we did, uh, we actually filled up one of these with um, coloring books and Play-Doh and a bunch of other stuff for our kids. And what was really nice is we were able to take it out and bring it out to our table. We just had all the stuff for the kids in one basket that we could easily take and, and just take outside, which is different from drawers, right? Because you can't just take them out and haul them wherever. When you guys are in an area that has a lot of bugs, the Mantis does come with a screen that you're able to install on your front door, which I can go ahead and get that installed here. It's super easy. They've got Velcro all around the door. And at the bottom that you're able to keep your door shut. And this here, and then it just zips right up. So you have a screen door that's built into the uh, the Mantis here that you're able to just put up whenever you need it. We were in an area that didn't have very many bugs, so uh, we didn't have to use it very much, but um, while we were packing up, uh, there was a lot of bugs and we did utilize this screen quite a bit. So if you're in an area that has lots of mosquitoes and bugs, uh, this screen does allow you to keep that door open while keeping the bugs out. Let's go ahead and take this down. This uh, carton here does come with all of the hookups for your trailer. Uh, it comes with the um, your 30 to 110, your 30 amp to 110 hookup, uh, your pigtail. This is your water for your outdoor shower. 
And uh, you can also use this for convenience for your outdoor shower. And these all come in the Mantis. So moving on to the back, this is the air conditioning unit. And when you're ready to use the air conditioning unit, you actually have to start outside. And when you go outside, there's a portion that we have to lift up in order to push this AC unit out and give us more counter space and allow it to be able to uh, get more air and, and bring more air in. Okay, so once you've lifted up the latch in the back um, and you've moved these uh, over, all you've got to do is just push it back. And once it stops, you'll know your AC unit is out as far as it needs to go. And that's just going to grant you guys more counter space and uh, allow more airflow for the AC unit. Now, the AC unit does come with a plug. And in order for it to work, you have to plug it in under here. So we'll get a nice shot of that. You have to plug it in there and you do have to be hooked up to shore power in order for that to work. While we're in here, this is the dinette area. Uh, this is the table, and they've designed it to be able to swivel easily so that if you need to get out, you can move the table and not have to worry about breaking the table or trying to unhook it just to get out, but they just make it really functional for coming in and out of the table, whether you're coming in on this side or that side, it's actually really nice. To take it down underneath the table, there is a press to release and it comes right out. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn this into a bed now and, and show you what it looks like with everything all laid out. This just spins, you can turn it off. Okay, so after you take off the table part, uh, one thing, it won't fit unless this notch here is in the front on, uh, on this side. If you try and have this on the other side, it won't work. It's designed so that it has some notches it will fit into and you have to have it the right way. So now it's in there nice and solid and you've got a full size bed. So this here is uh, more fuses and your breakers here. Um, if you ever need to get access to those, this is also the information about your charger. Under here is actually your battery storage area. It's got some screws. And once you take it out, there's enough room in there for two group 24 or 27 batteries. We just threw a, an AGM in there just because we wanted to test out some of the functionality. But if you want to have two batteries that fit in the plastic compartments they have set up, it's a group 24 and a group 27 battery and you'll be able to fit two of them in there. We did find out that these chargers are compatible with lithium, but they will only charge it to about 85 to 90%. So just be aware if you guys are using batteries and you decide to upgrade to lithium, this current charger will only charge it to 85 to 90%. If you want to be able to charge it the rest of the way, you have two options. We'd either have to buy and install a new, ch uh, new charger or by getting a solar panel that is gonna have a high enough charge to get you from 90 to 100%. And I think that's gonna be the easiest route if you do wanna go with a lithium battery. Under here is where you're gonna get access to your Truma furnace. Um, if something's not working or you need to get access to it, that's how you're gonna, you're gonna get to it. I know when we got ours, the switch was turned off and so we had to turn it on in order to be able to utilize it. Uh, over here, I did wanna point out one of the really nice things about the uh, Mantis is the amount of storage that it has. Underneath each of these areas, uh, you have lots of room room for storage. 
So you can see under here, and this is going to be on each side all the way around. There's lots and lots of storage. So you'll have no shortage of places to be able to put things in the Mantis. Okay. One of the other really neat features about the Mantis is the functionality for hammocks. On our trip, we just bought a hammock from Target. I think there's lots of options that you can use, but you'll be able to string up the hammock across the middle here and uh, have another bed if that is what you guys need. Uh, that's what's really fun about the Mantis is flexibility and the extra beds that you're able to create with the Mantis. The canvas that they use is a really heavy duty, but yet very functional and, and also uh, waterproof design. And one of the things that's really nice about uh, the design on the inside is they allow you to have um, the outside and bring it in by having windows all the way around your unit. I need somebody super tall. So we're able to get a lot of light in here just by opening up these windows around the top. You can see how much brighter it got in here right away. So as you can see, they allow you to be able to, once again, be in the trailer, but really bring a lot of it in, just like the back door opening up in the back. They just make it super simple for you to be in a trailer, but yet feel like you're outdoors. When you want these to be stored, what you gotta do is you just gotta roll them up and they have these little elastic things here. You just put them through like that and you're all set. And you would just do that around the entire trailer. And one thing I forgot to touch on with the back door is it can be hard. If you're sitting here and you want to, if you want to close the door, you can't really reach the handle from here. So what you do is you actually just use this and you can pull down the door to shut it. So this is your handle here that you can use to, to shut the door while you're on the inside. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna close the roof or bring down the rooftop tent portion. It's kind of a two-man job. Technically, you can do it by yourself, but I'll show you why it's a little bit of a two-man job. So when you start pulling down the unit, you're not gonna be able to just pull it down all the way because what happens is uh, a lot of times this canvas area actually goes out and it usually does that and, and you can see it here. If you pull it all the way down, that just stays out. And so what you have to do while you're pulling it down, you have to come over here and pull everything in so that when, when this roof drops down, that none of your canvas or tent portion is going to be stuck on the outside of the trailer. We want it all to be on the inside. So we'll keep all of that in while we're pulling this down. You do have to pull kind of hard because the gas struts are working hard to make sure it doesn't just collapse on you. And that's one thing that you don't have to worry about when you're pulling it down, it's not gonna drop really fast. You really have to tug on that thing to get it down. Now, the other thing that uh, you have to be careful of, when you are getting ready to hook this up, you gotta be careful with this tent area and make sure it's not gonna get uh, pinned or snagged when you're tightening this up. So you gotta be really careful of that. When you pull it down, this is an important button which is gonna allow you to get over the hatch and really lock it in. We'll come do it on this side. We roll it up, come lock this in here, pull it down, make sure that it's not gonna snag on any of that. And then we're set. Now when we go on the outside and you look around the trailer, you shouldn't be able to see any of this on the outside. And if you do, you may want to pop it up and, and bring that inside so that's not gonna be exposed. We wanna uh, show you just how sturdy the Mantis is and just give you an idea of what it sounds like when you shut the door. Just a solid construction. One of the things that I really wanted to go over that I haven't is the measurements and the weight. So a couple things that you'll wanna keep in mind, the unit, uh, 
freestanding without the pop-up extended is gonna be six feet, 10 inches. That's gonna give you a frame of reference for your garage where you can fit it. At six feet, 10 inches, you should be able to take it into just about any garage without a problem. The empty weight, when there is no water in the tanks, you are 2,972 pounds. So just under 3,000 pounds for the unit, which is extremely light. You'll be able to tow this with lots of vehicles. There's lots of vehicles that are gonna be able to handle a 3,000 pound trailer. One of the other measurements to keep in mind is that when the rooftop is fully extended, it goes up to 10 feet on the high side. And uh, when you're inside of the unit, when the tent is up, on the inside, it's gonna be seven feet, 10 inches at the highest point, And at the lowest point on the inside of the trailer is five feet, 11 inches. So those are the two measurements that you're gonna to need to know about standing inside of the trailer and how much headspace that you have. A couple other measurements to keep in mind. The general water tank is 20 gallons and the length of the trailer is 19 feet. That's actually including the tongue. So it's 19 feet total from the tip of the tongue to the back of the trailer. Now, the last thing that I wanted to point out is this trailer came with three upgrades. It came with the bunk bed system, which we went over in the front. It came with the shower and the toilet. And it also came with the Thule racks on top. Now, the fourth upgrade, which we did not get with this Mantis, is the rooftop tent. Uh, the rooftop tent is gonna allow you to sleep up to three additional people, and it actually gets mounted on top of the Thule rack, and there's a ladder that comes down for you to easily access the rooftop tent. So when we get one, we'll be able to go through and, and show a tutorial on using the rooftop tent, but for now, just be aware of that that's where the rooftop tent goes and that those are the four additional upgrades that you can get with the Mantis. Thanks for watching with us. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed this. We want to remind you to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so that you can see all of the videos that we have. And we also want to remind you that we are the premier off-road dealership in America and we look forward to working with you in the future.